right, give us a good game. I want to call a thriller. Two games left. I think my voice is going to hold up. Oh, that's good. Yeah, thank God I don't sound like Phil. I gave you the names earlier, well, Flip Cracknell and D'Agostini. Um, take D'Agostini out for intermission interview with Cracknell in for tomorrow's game. Okay, so Vic's not sending it to us. How much time will we have? How, like where, how far are we? Yeah. Okay, but how, how long from now? Okay, perfect.
Welcome inside Milan Arena as we are set for semi-final number two, Kupio Kalpa out of Finland, taking on the host HC Davos. Dustin Nielsen and Doug Honiger with you in a couple of early storylines here. One of them being Dennis Godler, who took a puck in the head during warm-up. He is not in net. Manzato is in net right now. We were told he was okay. He was gonna start, Doug, but Manzato is in net. We watched the video, what do you think? He's played one game already in this tournament, hasn't allowed a goal. He has the only shutout of the tournament. So we've got that going with well, one of the two shutouts in the tournament. So Manzato, Daniel Manzato is starting for Kupio. The other storyline on the other side for HC Davos. No Anders Ambuel, who's Mr. Davos. And they're taking out their on top the two D-men and their second line center, Luka Heaston. Your thoughts on that? So some interesting storylines here as we drop the puck. The winner will advance to take on Canada. And there's an icing 22 seconds in. The lineups are never what you expect, does it? Face off to the blocker side right. Of Manzato, Honiger, give me your hunch for the game. Rissenden gets to center, he'll knock it in behind the goal. Jill Sen starting, he was excellent. Won his only start of the tournament so far. Stops, Not, well, save percentage is 94.2, goals against average just two. So we could have a good battle between the pipes once again. Al Sepala for Cupio plays it in behind the net. Far side will be settled down. Clemente, he's a junior age player. He's five foot eight out there, was number 20 in black. And he's trying to find the puck along the boards, he'll get it. And then he's gonna get hammered. As stepping up there was Enzo Corby. Pick it on the kid. <laughs> now it's gonna come back around. Blue line kept in, thrown to the middle. And Cantola, who was liking this tournament, directs it into the corner. Clemente trying to keep it alive. Cantola from a bad angle that's up in the air, bounces down in behind the goal. And that'll be controlled there. As Chibok back to the point. He's gonna get another look at it. Seabach throws it through, rebound, a juicy one. Then comes across. That looked like it hit Tommy Yochin and he scored an overtime goal in this tournament. Hit him at the side of the goal. Excellent start here for Cupio. Now they'll drop it off in behind the goal eventually. Corby out there, long shift for them. They're kind of hemmed in. Sent through and they score! Inside the post, short side. Kim Nusaiden. Gives Cupio a 1-0 lead. Under three minutes in. Wasn't fighting to see it, kind of just settled in behind and hoped it hit him. Okay, on the ice. He signed in, opens the scoring for Cupio, his first of the tournament. And they'll try to come in looking for more. Interesting to see if the crowd can help Gobbles get back in it. Battling the 
along the boards. Egley tied up. That'll be turned over to the blue line. Fairchild throws it back door. Sen comes over. A big stop there on Yuso Kanonen. Eshelman. And this line last night provided some good board checking. We're going to need that right now. Otto Leskinen in behind his own net, skated away. Three minutes gone, period number one. Kukrio Kalpa already on the scoreboard. Rissanen down into the corner, wants to chase after it. Young bobbles it with Texier right on top of him. Ritu up there as well. Kalpa, they look rested. They look like they didn't play yesterday, which they didn't. They've allowed only one goal so far in the tournament. And I think one of the reasons is because they're always pushing the puck up ice. Stick, offense, good. Seppala in behind the net. Now they moved around left side. Pometti, he's going to try to skate onto this one. Hustles down into the corner. Gets around Zanganetti, takes a bump from Young. Luce Ryan will come up, the Hurricanes second rounder. Spins back into the corner. Tried to drop it back to Pometti. Luce Ryan will pick it up. He's got a little bit of room on the backhand. Drops it back to Pometti. Pometti, far side, and a nice stick there to break that up from Klassen. Klassen was excellent in his last game. Two goals, has three on the tournament. Now he's going to pick up his puck. And throws it across to Sanganetti. Long look ahead. And Simeon can't pick that up. It's going to go the distance for Icing. great now I see it and I definitely will make everybody else believe it as well the crowd here phenomenal max capacity 6300 but you know there's a few more <laughs> now back to the point sent through send a good save through traffic and now they'll play it up the boards to Stoney scored the nicest goal of the tournament stop there Sibok will bring it the other way. Gets the blue line, puts it down into the corner, heads off on a change. Heldner took a bump down low. That'll come around and be controlled by Thierry Botter. He took a big hit as he moved that puck up the ice. Pistoni down there with Meyer. Meyer steps in here, tries to take that puck away from the Gupio forward. But Lapaline and will control. Moves it back to the goal score. Him to sign it. Turns it over. Shoot. Knocks it through the neutral zone. And it'll come to the blue line. No further. He's just trying to knock it in. He's taken down. No call. Crowd does not like it. In over the blue line. Listen in. Drops it off. Now to be played back down in behind the net by Newton. Enzo Corby skating it out of harm's way. Alexander Rutu, the son of Christian Rutu, opened the tournament with an excellent game. Now they'll drop it back. Ryan Wilson gets up, sends it in. That's off a stick and out of play. And we actually haven't had many stoppages in this game. Looking for the call, not gonna get it. We'll continue to play at even strength. Power play for Davos. Over certain. Let them skate behind. Even though okay? they do move the puck around pretty well. Good. Now in the corner. Be knocked in behind the goal. 
Carpi plays it ahead, and that's a big hit coming over there. Seppala connected it, center ice. Now down in on Jill Sen. Our guy moves it around far side. Clausen tried to deflect it ahead to Lindgren. That didn't work. Now Lindgren will hustle into the corner. Played in the opening game of the tournament. Hasn't played in the two since. Gets it to Bar Guy who will go for escape. Clarence Bar Guy knocks it down into the near corner. And it'll be moved around by Fairchild. Kept in at the blue line. Now out to the neutral zone. And Davos will take over. Clausen tried to find a man. That was picked off. He'll come back in the other way. Right wing board shot through. Stan with a rebound that fortunately comes all the way out to Simeon. Simeon with the crowd behind him. Drops it off to Clausen. He'll leave it there. Shot up high. Manzato. That may be his first save of the game. He takes it off the chest. There's Tetier. Tried to throw it across to the point. It eventually gets there. Kept in by Constant Mackinen. Mackinen. Watch closely. He's going to wheel it down and drop it off for Texier there. Texier walking in. Throws it down low. Tried to get it back. Couldn't connect. Now they'll battle down low in the corner. Jerry Botter comes out of it. Moves it around. But look at the hustle here from Cupio. First on every puck. Mackinen with a shot through. And Sen gets his team exactly what they need in a whistle. Cupio Kalpa. On top early, 1-0. Yeah. Second save, okay. I can't remember the first one, must have been a weak one. Yeah. Welcome back to Davos. Spangler Cup coverage here on TSN. Justin yeah, Wilson okay, alongside guys. Doug okay. Honiger. Big Six. stop's going to come to the Six. blanker side right here, Jill Sen. And off the draw, Cantola snuck in and took that one away from Julian Baer and had a decent opportunity. Cantola's been all over the place in this tournament. Offense. Gets in there, grinds, turns box over. Now it'll come around to Beezer. Beezer couldn't control. Bruce Sarani tried to get it. Beezer will take it back. Now ahead right side from Mark Beezer. Beezer cuts wide, sends it towards the goal. And that one will slide through off of Manzato. Back to the point. Shot blocked. And out to the neutral zone for Lucas Stuck. Stuck wheels back in. Takes a bump from Mustarainen and knocks it down into the corner. Lapalainen moves it ahead. They'll get to center, no problem. Trying to work it over the blue line, and Beezer knocking Newton off the puck. Now Kessler tips it down, tries to get around Wilson, had him tied up. They'll take over. Out front, one time in there. Manzato down. He did two or three quick looks behind him, and he had it in his pad. Tough to criticize a guy who hasn't been beaten yet in front of us. Here for the tournament. Okay, behind. Defense pick. Okay, good. Very smart move, as opposed to bringing somebody else out of Finland and having them be unfamiliar with things. Now they'll send it towards the goal. That's wide to the right of Manzato. 
Texier back to grab it here. Left wing side, what a nice play from the kid. Wilson throws it ahead. That takes a bounce down into the corner and it'll be called on the offside with just over 11 minutes remaining in the first. Davos has not had the really good looks that they've had in this tournament. Even if they haven't finished, they have been getting a lot of opportunities prior to tonight. Lindgren wins the draw. Far side, now it'll be poked down into the corner. Glapalainen couldn't control it. And on the far side, Fairchild will grab it down and throw it to Seppala. Clemetti inside his own blue line, plays it up the boards. And she boxed, she boxed in, shot. Block it away into the corner by Gilles Sen. And now played ahead to Simeon. Simeon will give it to Sanganetti. Sanganetti drops it off for Clausen. Clausen leaves it there. Shot coming in. Zotto, the first save. Rebound, put down the ice. Here's an opportunity the other way. A race for the puck. He'll stand out. Misses it. Net is empty. And what a big play defensively there. The slide into the corner. And stop what could have been a shot at the empty net. Didn't want to give up the breakaway, but that was a risky move. Obviously, it almost backfired on him. He was really good in his last outing, to the point where we thought they might go back to him yesterday. Now in, over the blue line, shot through Manzato steadily. It'll come back out to the point. In behind the goal, Street with Listerine on him. Moves it to the blue line, not out. Kept in there, second crack at it. And this time, Davos will clear the zone, but immediately taking control of Lapalainen. Takes a return feed here and skates it up to the blue line. Shot from way out, bobbled by Gil Sen. And Kupio is able to take over. He'll drop it back. Shot coming from the point. Sen way out. Got a piece of it. Back to the point again. Now down low in behind the net. Sliding down from the left point is Wilson. Leaves it there. Rutu shot through a crowd. Sen is down. Puck behind him. And now it's underneath him for a whistle. But H.C. Davos and Jill Sen under fire. Very quickly as well. Puck will be down in the corner. Seppola on it there. And it'll be knocked to Lusserainen. Lusserainen plays it back in behind the goal. Fairchild moves it around to Clemetti. One of the final cuts from the Finland World Junior Club, and that's a pretty good World Junior team that he missed out on. Now Lusserainen, who did play World Juniors during his junior days. Clemetti walking in. Clemetti's going to take it in behind the net. Drops it back to Wilson. Wilson shot wide blocker. Mark. This one outside of the zone. And now Davos is set up in behind their own goal. Esselman leaves it there for Claussen. You get the sense he might almost have to do it by himself tonight. Missing Ambul. And a 
corner. Sanganetti battling there. We'll talk to him in the first intermission. Back up towards the blue line. Texier a little too pretty. Now here's an opportunity for Clawson. And checked neatly from behind. That was an excellent job by Leskinen coming back. Texier trying to find Ritu. That's broken up. Clawson again. This time he's going to wheel. Gets the blue line. Drops it off to Lindgren. Lindgren, high slot. Shot there from Simeon. Off the net and into the corner. Now the crowd getting behind H.C. Davos. Good feet ahead. Looks like a little toe drag coming there from Meyer. Lost the handle. Botter keeps it alive. Back to the blue line. Scoop. Really had nowhere to go. Was kind of handcuffed with that puck. It'll be cleared back down the ice. And now it'll go for icing. Davos starting to get a little bit of momentum. But they still trail 1-0 here. Off, blocker side right of Indy Daniel wide. Manzato. And it is one by Corby. He'll get it back to the point. Shot through. Manzato got a piece. And with every shot on goal, the crowd gets a little bit fired up. Right now, Davos trailing 1 0. Past midway point here of the first period. Kubel Calpo, 1 0 lead over HC Davos. Winner faces Canada tomorrow in TSN 3 and 5. <laughs> Dustin Nielsen, Doug Honiger with you. Stoop hesitating, shot into the corner. Fairchild will go in to scoop it up. Backhands it ahead. I like what Fairchild and Wilson, the two North Americans, bring to this Kubel blue line. Loses it at center. Pressure from behind. Beezer comes up with it. Puts on the brakes. Egley in behind the goal. Has it poked away. Hustles over to get it. Padra is able to keep it in at the blue line. Until Lewis Dorian comes in and just calmly plays it back. And now they're clear of the zone. Over five minutes to go. Period number one. Davos cannot move out from their own zone. Kubi will take over. Jokinen in behind the goal. Bumped off the puck there by Eschelman. And that will come around and be knocked out through the neutral zone. Eschelman with a little bit of speed. He'll just try this shot. High over top of the goal. And that's where they'll battle in behind the net for the loose puck. Wilson's going to come up with it. Side steps to check. Gets it out past Sanganetti with a little bit of help from the captain, Jokinen. Sanganetti, left side, hammered in, Simeon on it there. Wanted to play it back to the point, kind of jumped on him a little bit. Now he'll get it back. Sanganetti had to quickly poke that back down deep. Lindgren with Clausen. Sanganetti wanted the pinch. Now he gets a stick on it to keep it alive. Still in the zone. Simeon 
Tried to knock it across this time, it'll come out. And we will get a whistle with just over four minutes left in period number one. Take one or two Six. plays to change the game, right? Off the draw, control here by Cupio. Let me chip down the ice. This one will go no icing. Back on it there is Heldman. In behind his own goal. So now skated away, pass up the right side, kind of slowed everything down. Comes back around, par guy off the board, neutral zone. Estonian trying to knock it in, and they will gain entry. Botter took a big bump. Now a cross check. Back to the point. That'll be knocked out. Our guy, good job using his body to fend off an attacker, and he'll leave it in behind the goal. Both teams, full line changes. Helder now will head off, head off as well. As Lucas Stoop skates it away. He's gonna look right up the middle of the ice. That'll go for ice, and he's trying to find Enzo Corby. Still didn't connect all the way down, so another offensive zone face off here for Lusterinen. Now Cantola will move in to take it. Lusterinen slides over Cut. to the right side. Okay. Alexi Clemetti lining up to the left Defense here of Cantola against Corby. And Corby will come up with the puck and he'll skate it out to the neutral zone. Beezer sends it in deep. Both Beezer brothers out there right now. And they'll both end up down in the corner fighting for this puck. Dino Beezer had an excellent game to get his team here to the semifinal. Now he's going to walk in with a little bit of room. Throws it in behind the goal. Hare moves down into the corner. Pop loose. Mark Beezer knocked down from behind. Dino will come in and pick up the puck. Tried to play it down. Mark got all turned around. And Lister Ryan plays it in behind the net. Right side, Newton sends it in near corner. Jokin and first man on it. Knocks it in behind the goal to Shibak. Shibak watch there by Par Guy. Eshelman comes in as well. Jokin and battling has it knocked away. Bigger tenacious on the puck. When they're in the offensive zone, they're all over that thing. H.C. Davos will slow things down. Around two minutes left to go here, first period. They get some fresh legs over the boards. Now five of them move out through the neutral zone. Sanganetti pokes it ahead. That'll be broken up. Opportunity for Texier walking in. And behind the goal, tried the wrap around, and Jill Sen is there. Pad down, nowhere to go. Very well might, just a second round pick of the Columbus Blue Jackets. Lots of time to develop, was drafted in just 2017. Simeon moves it ahead, Sanganetti's got a man in front. Sanganetti tried to find Klaassen, couldn't get it to him. Those are the two guys you want in that situation too. Now it'll be taken away by Texier and played all the way down the ice. Klaassen goes back for it. Thought about firing it up to Simeon, but now he'll leave it in behind the goal and head off on the change. Such a possession game here in the early going. Yeah. 
far the quickest team they've had to face so far, I would think. Now they'll throw it up the middle of the ice, and that is past everybody all the way down. No icing here. Final minute of play in period number one. Botter has it poked away. Pometti comes in, and now he's going to go for a skate. Gets the blue line. Loose the line and stumbles. Pometti rubbed off the puck. Payer will play it in behind the goal for Stoop. Stoop with less than half a minute now. Plays it ahead. Beezer trying to drive in, and he stood up there by Seppola. Tried to reverse it. Seppola will break that up as well. Seppola, right side, Contola, Contola, poked away, maybe an opportunity the other way, less than 10 seconds left in the period, can they get a shot off, Geezer, backhander coming, and it's knocked into the corner, that'll do it for period number one, not many good looks for Davos, but a solid game from Grupio Calpa so far. Could be an uphill battle for the host, H.C. Davos, to stay alive. Grupio Calpa with a 1-0 lead through 20 minutes at the Spangler Cup. Yeah, head down. I'm trying to save my voice a bit there in the first. Yeah.
Yeah, we're here. Okay. Yeah, he's in rough shape. Yeah, I'm keeping her pretty low key. Yeah. Yeah. yeah more important to have it for tomorrow. Yeah, I'll probably get my hands on a tea tonight. I had uh, two tea this morning with honey and stuff. It helps every morning. For just the one game tomorrow, as long as my voice isn't fully like cracked here tonight, I'll be, uh, I'll be good. Oh yeah. Yeah, I should go get a tea at the bar back at the uh, hotel or something. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. Welcome back to Davos, everyone. Dustin Nielsen alongside Doug Honiger. We are at Valiant Arena, and we are ready for second period action between Davos and hey, Kupio hey. Kalpa. Are you expecting yep. anything uh, different in the second, Doug? Right. Here's an opportunity now. Klaassen, three on one, takes it back. Lindgren there. Lindgren throws it across. And that one up and out of play. It seems like they had miscommunication on the three on one. When you're attacking on a three on one, you don't want to be all on the same level. It seemed like all three of them were kind of along in a line as a look at. Sammy Kapanen. <laughs> let me let me say a couple things about this. One, I hope it ends up being an excellent sweater. Two, she's the only person here who's knitting. We can't confirm that. <laughs> she was knitting before the game as well, and obviously she's not. Yeah. That's right, guys. Yeah, yeah, her, her needle's down. <laughs> that shoe's just down, just down from us on the table. Okay, get scrap, stick, stick. <laughs> does she risk it again, or does she put it away for the night? You gotta put it away for the night. <laughs> this will be sent down the ice. Held there, far side. And now they'll play it ahead. That bounced over the stick of Meyer, down the ice, no icing. Mackinen back on it. Davos will take over. Bring it back. Hard guy shot. Manzato blockers it away. Four periods so far in the tournament for Manzato, and he's not been beaten. Wasn't expected to start tonight, but the starter, Dennis Godla, took a shot off the helmet in the warm-up. How do you get hit in the head in warm-up? I mean, most of the time, those pucks are supposed to be down. Probably didn't go over well with the shooter, I'll tell you that. Newton in now. 
Lost it at center ice. It'll be played around far side. And they wait for it. A couple of members of AC Davos bump into each other and fall down in the neutral zone. And we'll get a stoppage here with just over a minute and a half gone in period number two. Yeah. Mr. Reining right now is leading this Finnish club in ice time. That's a young center for this team. He's out there all the time. Now the puck going to be scooped up here by Kanonen. Takes it back in behind into the corner and then reverses it up the wing. And Julian Baer, the teenager, steps up there and Got a stick on it to break up the play in the neutral zone. Duprio retreats in behind their goal. Lepelainen up through the middle. He'll dish it off. Comes in over the blue line. And offside, I was waiting for the whistle, and it was a late one, Doug. Face off one by Esleman. Egley. Spins away, nice pivot there. And he's got some room for himself. He'll get to the blue line and play it into the corner. How about the way he generated speed with that quick turn? Now they'll bring it in, and that is offside. Newton was kind of trying to wait and wait, and Weskinen wanted to get going. Face off just outside the blue line. Terrence Barr guy picking up some extra time here with both Dubois and Nee Grinnell. He's played almost nine minutes and we're early in the second. Now just inside the blue line. It'll be dropped back and thrown over on the right side. Rutu cuts wide, shot in. And That'll be held on to. Been a quiet period for both goaltenders, to be honest with you. Sand watching on. Face off will come to his left. And that'll be back to the point. Leskinen moves it down low and behind the net. But back out front, send down. That was an excellent opportunity for Rutu. He's had a couple of good looks tonight. Boston now could have numbers if he moves it. Has a man up on the right, he'll give it to him. Lingren, Lingren, back to Claussen. Claussen up top to Simeon. Simeon cuts wide. Simeon now, Claussen in behind the goal. Wanted Lingren, couldn't get him. Now sends a backhander through, and that's going to be broken up, and they'll come the other way. Wilson in off the shoulder of Sen, and Claussen wants to wheel it. He's going to run out of room, gives it away. Roosterinen picks it up. Roosterinen in on his off wing, backhands it in front, nobody there. A nice pickup and a good burst from Roosterinen. Now back to Seppala. Seppala will move it down low. Clemetti leaves it there for Roosterinen. Tried to play it back to the point, hit Klaus and then remains on the boards. Klaassen eventually chops it out. Seppola will have to regroup. Gets it to Fairchild. Quickly back ahead to Controla. I like how the Finns didn't take a long time there. They tacked again right away. Now Simeon gives it away. Newton will pick it up. Newton comes in, drops it back. First shot. Blocked. Second attempt. Couldn't get off clean. Watched by Newton and nobody to give that puck to. It's 
a very quick reset, and then bam, they're back on top of you. Drop back, Newman. He's got some time now. Played down and behind the goal. Picked up there by Chibok. Chibok leaves it for Newton. He's got body in front. It's Jokin in the captain. Newton takes it in behind the goal. Paris comes in on him. Newton gives him a shoulder. The blue line kept in. In behind the goal. Here's Jokin in. He's got a man in front. That's off of a skating in behind the goal. Centered again, and this time Lindgren has seen enough. He'll send it all the way down the ice. He wants to change. It's been a long shift for Petru Lindgren. Now flipped in. Sen steers that to the corner. Pannonen gets it to Newton. Newton takes it back down into the corner. Now finds some room. Tried to play it back up. Leskinen wanted to deflect it further to the blue line, but missed it. Sanganetti, who I chatted with in the first intermission, told me he's going back to North America, has a deal somewhere, but doesn't want to say anything just yet. So he'll be back on the other side of the pond after the tournament. There's an excellent look and a nice save by Sen. Broken up at the blue line by Wilson, held the line nicely. Now dishes it off to Rutu. Rutu in with a shot. Hit a leg, trickles into the corner. Wilson on it again there, Sanganetti. We'll battle with him. Wilson again plays it around near side. Fairchild will move down. Now his turn to activate from the blue line. Eventually taken away. Moved up the middle of the ice for Beezer. Lost the handle on it. And a chance for Cupio to reset here. He'll play it down to Sanganetti. He'll backhand it across near side for Sven Young. Young off of a stick and down the ice. Seppala braces himself there and now pins that puck along the boards. Knocks it loose, plays it ahead, and now it'll be flipped out through the neutral zone and we'll have a race for it down into the corner. No icing here, par guy tied up. Nico Newton in, in on the attack. It'll eventually be controlled and brought away by Chris Egli. Egli gets the blue line shot, deflected wide. Oh, and Mr. Ryan comes over. Peter Forsberg style and throws his back into the HC Davos player. Power play coming up when we return. Been a uh, good pace in this game for sure. Midway point of the hockey game. Dustin Nielsen, Doug Honiger with you here. Spangler Cup semifinal number two. Team Canada advancing earlier today 4-2 with a win over the Nuremberg Ice Tigers. They will face the winner here. Sanganetti heading down the hallway quickly. We'll keep tabs on that. Right now his team's going to the penalty kill. Route two at the point. Cupio, first power play of the game. They'll work it down into the corner. Now up top, Route two. Right shot, high slot. Goes to Reinen. Rutu, back to Lusterina. Lusterina comes up top. Let's get in, far side. Texier shot, comes down to Lusterina. Lusterina throws it across. Good pass to Jokinen. That's just thinking the game a step ahead, isn't it? Now Lusterina's shot, high and wide. Best game so far for him, and he's been pretty good most nights. Texier, back up top, Leskinen across to Lusterinen. Back to Leskinen, 
Texier, high slot, wrist shot coming. That's blocked by Pear. And that'll slide into the corner. And he'll get a little bit of help and they'll clear the zone. Simeon all the way down as the stick breaks. He's gonna have to head off. Mr. Reinen with Texier. Texier down into the corner. Takes it in behind the goal. He likes to circle the zone. Now Mr. Reinen. Right half wall again, back up top, far side. Settle down. Passing it back and forth here at the blue line. One good look for Jokin and on deflection, but nothing else. He's focused on the far side of the ice here. Now they'll move it across to Lister Reiner. Back up top, traffic in front, shot coming. That one up in the equipment of the defender, and it'll eventually fall down for Yannick Krenner to send it down the ice. Power play about to expire. A go 0 for 1 and 0 for 8 in the tournament. And very often you see a finished power play that struggles that much. Now tipped in by Seppala, and that comes right back out. Newton in far corner. Hare goes back to get it here. Moves it ahead and it's out to the neutral zone where it's easily corralled by McInnes. Goes to Wilson who gets to the blue line. Knocked back down right onto Wilson's control. And they'll move it around to McInnes again. Off the glass this time and out. He's got to hurry. Pressure coming there. They'll come out. They'll have to clear the zone. Clemente has to wait. And that will give Andrew Corby some time to slow things down. We'll get it on the left side to Stoney. Pretty quiet so far tonight. Back to Buxley. Buxley shot in. Still laying there. And eventually Wilson on a long shift here. He'll get it and just knock it along the board. See if he can get a little bit of help and clear the zone. No, not going to happen this time. Back over left side. Buxley knocks it down in behind the net. Picked up there by Mackinnon. And Mackinnon will see an opportunity. Back out this up and out. Booster Reinen with a high stick. Knocked that down. And they pull it down in the neutral zone. Defense. I asked Sammy Kaplan prior to the back. game, said you've only allowed one goal Skate. in two games. Stick. Obviously, your goaltenders are important there. Stick. But asked him about his team's defensive play. He said they were better in the second game than they were in the first game. But they've done a very good job with what you just mentioned. There's really not many second opportunities. Sammy Kapanen. Majority six, owner, six, six. GM, head coach of Calvary. Now sent through and that'll be held on to. We talked about the lack of European coaches in the National Hockey League. Like, let's just say I'm just spitballing here, Dougie. The Philadelphia Flyers say, hey, Tammy, you want to come over and be an assistant? Like, will he go and be an assistant over there when he stayed here and do everything for a club that he's the majority owner? Texier walks in, Texier fires it just wide. What a dangle from the kid. Back to the point, this one fired over the head of Shield 10. Texier comes up with it again. This side bobbles it. And eventually it'll be knocked all the way back out. Fairchild picks it up there for Cupio. Newton in, finds a trailer, sent through, Sen kicks out the left leg, right onto the stick of Crossan. Crossan away. 
puts on the brakes at the blue line. Throws it across, Bayer bats it down. Couldn't do much with it from there, so he just knocks it down into the corner. And Kupi will reset. Back there, the goal scorer controls. And they'll head man the puck to the blue line, no further. Eshelman in behind his own goal for Stoop. Stoop, long pass ahead. Eshelman picks it up, right side for Pear. Now Pear wants to head off on a chase. Kessler will give chase down in the corner. Puck support coming in the form of Eshelman. Can they come up with it? No, it's going to be taken away by Cupio and played out. Cantola touches it just inside the blue line. And maybe he didn't know. Let them play on. Now in over the zone. Controlled shot coming. And Manzato stands up to take that in the chest. He's perfect so far in the entire tournament. Cupio leads one another. Welcome back, Valiant Arena in Davos, Switzerland. Dustin Nielsen and Doug Honiger with you. And we are ready for puck drop offensive zone here for HC Davos, where any sign of life will get this place going, Doug. Thank you. Rebound in front. Oh, and Manzato was way out of the net, but that bounced right to Wilson. Here's an opportunity for Miko Newton. And Newton turned around and tried to drop it back to Tommy Jokinen. So sit far away from Sammy Kaplan. Goes to Reinen, drops it back. There's the shot. Can't go, I got quite a bit of that one too. Yet he still hasn't been scored on in the entire tournament. Hey, Finland hey. has now played. Dick is saying so. Finland has played over two and a half games now and still allowed just one goal here at the Spengler Cup. Israel Kalpa representing here from Finland. Now to be played off the boards. Pometti gets it back. Nice battle from the pint-sized Pometti. Santola back to the point. They'll swing it over near side. Fairchild throws it into a number of legs and eventually will be knocked out. Fairchild breaks that up, but here's an opportunity. A little bit of speed. They're going to drop it back. And it fires low blocker side all the way back around to the neutral zone. Cut wide, back in front, Texier wanted a piece of it. Rutu there as well. And Pear, who's playing a ton with Bobby Sanganetti. I haven't seen Sanganetti come back yet. Negrin's not playing in this game. He's being rested. Uh, and Dubois. So Julian Pear, who's 18 years old, is playing some of the heaviest minutes. He's playing well. Now Simeon drops it up top. Top from Cross, and he had two last game. That's directed into the corner. Here's Payer again. Comes back. Cross will fire. That's blocked in front and then batted out and down the ice. That one stung a little bit. Here's Claussen now. 
Finds a little bit of room. Slowly in. Drops it back. Shot blocked. Clausen will get it back again. Sends one down in behind the goal. They'll slide down and try to keep it alive. Bruce Lee. They're playing YMCA right now during play. That's regular cup, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Down the ice is Wilson. They'll get it there and reverse it. Oh, I love this tournament. It's so much fun. That'll be played ahead. Right side. They'll get the zone. Turning it around in the corner. Not much room there for Henry Newton. Pannonen giving chase. They'll play it around far side. Wilson keeps it in. Calmly along the boards and they'll work off the half wall. Eshelman watching his man. Yuso Kanonen. Kanonen knocks it down. Bruce Lee on it there for Davos. Plays it right up the middle. That'll be picked off. Now thrown on the near side. Vinola, shot blocked. Back up top. Fired again. That's blocked as well. That time it was Egli. The fourth line for Davos. Pinned in, but getting in front of Pucks right now. Back up top. Left line in. Another shot. Jill Sen gets the glove on that one with less than four minutes to play in the period. Jill Sen has stopped 18 of 19. Skate, stick, stick. No, you're right, it doesn't. I did say it's at dinner, I said, probably 2-1. Like, isn't that kind of what we were expecting, like a high-paced game, but a 2-1 type of game? Now they'll battle along the boards. That's gonna be picked off just inside the blue line. Drop back, an opportunity here for Dario Meyer. Meyer on his off wing with a shot. And that one blocked by Leskinen. Back up to Payer, out there again the kid is. And this time the puck bounces right to Henry Newton, and Newton will just soft chip that one down the ice. Shoot at center. Some room to wheel. He's gonna walk in with a wrist shot off of Manzato's shoulder and up out of play. Manzato is so calm in that. Caught the top corner. Stick. Stick. Coming close. Face off one by Davos. Back to the point. We're going to do it again. Yeah. We might get some warnings here. Hey. Good look there at Manzato. Corby moves in on the draw here for Davos. What? This is your first time joining us. This is Spengler Cup. We've got great Six. access to the official. Six. Six. Face off one. Now played around near side for Ruchu. Ruchu with some pressure coming down there from Pargai. Couldn't get it up along the boards, and now there'll be a battle. Three players from each team along the boards. Pargai trying to swing away. Now he knocks it down in behind the net to Pisa. That'll be picked up and played back to the point. Shot coming there. Manzato down. Got a shoulder on it. Crowd wanted a penalty. Pisa was taken down hard in front of the goal. There's his brother. Lost the handle on it. Three wide for Kubio through the neutral zone. He'll drop it back. Shot. Sen hesitated a little bit. Flinched, but the puck never got there. Text it. Back to the point. Leskinen, down low. Texier will slide in. Picks this puck up, sidesteps a check. Beezer was coming for him. And now Texier will head off. Through the middle with speed. Onside, Lusterreinen drops it back. Clemetti, a second crack at it. And eventually, it'll be knocked towards the blue line. Set a really nice game. Didn't play in the last game. Is out there tonight. He definitely has a future, I would think, as a pretty good offensive player in Finland. 
Now back here is Bushley. 90 seconds remaining in the period. Got to be, oh, oh man. Got to be careful at your own blue line. Got away with it there. And now Newton plays it up and it's heel kicked up and out of play. We saw Kevin Deneen, the head coach of Team Canada, catch a puck that was flying over his head. Just over a minute remaining, one nothing. Rupio continues to lead. They defend so well as a five-man group in the neutral zone. Yeah, it's something to watch for. You're right, they kind of start to back up, and then they go. They come at you now. Here they go, in over the blue line, and that one missing the intended target. It was the goal scorer, Newsom, who had joined the rush. They get the blue line again. Final minute of play. As he moved around near side for Newton. Comes back to the point. Knocking, trying to get it in behind the goal, but it's picked off there by Eshelman. And he'll get it to the blue line. Take him down. Still whacking away at that puck, trying to keep it alive. Egley goes in, throws his weight around. They're not a physical team, but Egley is one guy who plays physical. Less than 30 seconds left. Newton lost it. He picked up, sent to the side of the goal. And now just given away to the right of Jill Sen. And they'll find Sven Young. Young gets to center, took a big check there from Kanonen. Newton doing a good job to take the check and control the puck. Less than 10 seconds remaining here in the period. Played ahead, Newton couldn't get a stick on it. And that one will go down the ice for icing with two seconds left. Newton and Young into the boards hard. And Newton had something to say. She's still knitting. Is she working on a gift cloth? What is she doing? He's disgusted. Okay. <laughs> That's your warning. Oh, you and a warning. Okay. Too late. Give her a warning. Okay. She's knitting at a hockey game. It must be pretty urgent. Whatever she needs to get done, it's got to be really urgent. <laughs> She's working on next year's gifts, Doug. Next year's gifts. They're just as important as the semifinal here at the Spangler Cup, which Cupio leads 1-0, and really not much of a sniff at all there for Davos in the second. Manzato's played five periods in this tournament. He has not been beaten. His team with a 1-0 lead over the host. H.C. Davos. All right, we'll head down.
What's that? Yeah. Yeah, the next goal is a really big one. Or if there's no goals, Kupil hangs on. Let's hope we get one. Yeah. Still in it, yeah. We're still in it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jill Sand is still in there for Davos. Okay, um, yeah, yeah, I know that, I saw that. Um, Manzato is still in net for Cupio. Yep. Yeah. Team Canada awaiting an opponent. That is yet to be determined. Canada, of course, booking their ticket to the Spangler Cup Championship game earlier today. Kuka Kalpia trying to do the same right now. HC Davos down by a goal. Dustin Nielsen, Doug Honiger with you here. Third period action about to start. Davos, Doug, needs some sort of push. Get ready. Good. Yeah, guys, stay out, please. Thank you. Your stick first. <laughs> now down in the corner. This will come around. That bounces to Corby. Corby's been moved on to this line here with Clausen and Simeon. We've seen them a couple of times chop the defender's stick out of their hands. Ag aggressively like that? I wonder when that starts happening, eh? When they start calling them for the slashes. Or yeah. Well, I mean, at some point he's going to slash the stick, skate around the guy, and score a goal. And they're going to go that down. Yeah. Ten straight, good stick, stick. Face off controlled here by Cupio. Let's take a look at Honiger's hunch from the first.
not over yet. Down by one. This one shot can change this game in a big way. Puck will slide into the corner. Picked up there by Lisa Reiner. Turns it over. Seppala has to hustle back in behind his own goal. Nice little fake to move that puck up cleanly. Lister Reiner, oh, nice move. Gets in over the blue line. Lister Reiner turns it back around. He's dancing tonight. Throws it to Clemetti, the teenager in behind the goal. Gets it back to Lister Reiner. Back to the point. Walking in now. Newton shot. Didn't get off. Knocked into the corner. He's watched there by Parguy. Now Newton turns. Plays it in behind the goal. Back on it there. We have not seen Bobby Sanganetti since he walked down the hall. Stretch pass too far for Wieser. Goes all the way down the ice, so an offensive zone faceoff coming up here for Kupio Kappa. When you have guys, and I know this happens all the time over here, but when you have a guy like Lisa Ryan in a text here, how frustrating is it that you get them, okay. you develop them, and then eventually they leave and go play in the National Hockey League? Shot from the point through, and that bounces to the right, as Jill said. And it'll be chopped up and out of play. We know that's just the way the game works, but at the same time, I mean, you're Sammy Kaplan, and you're trying to build a program here in Calpa. Your two best offensive players tonight are the two young kids. And then your second-round picks, I mean, odds are, at least for a stretch of time, they're going to be somewhere in North America. Stop, nigga. Sometimes taken and just put in the American Hockey League. Could that be something they could actually say where there's an out clause for a lot of these guys if they're in the AHL? Better off for maybe everybody involved in the over here. Now Wilson. Gets it to the blue line, not out, here, shot wide, glove, that bounces way up high, Manzato reaches back, calmly, of course, and hangs on. Nice little vacation for him out here. Hasn't allowed a goal yet, not bad. Working on period number six for Manzato, who once again, if you're just joining us, only started because Dennis Godla took a putt off the helmet in warm-up. Now Manzato gets turned around in his net, but got enough of it on his arm to keep that puck out. In the corner, Kessler has it taken away. Wilson headmans the puck to Newton. Henry Newton drops it off, and they're going to be blown down on the offside with just over three minutes gone in a 1-0 third period. Super. Good. Stick. Stand straight. Straight. Good. Stick. Manzato has stopped 16 of 16 so far in this game. Simeon lost the handle on it. That'll be picked up and calmly played down the ice by Luis Sorainen. Took a bump while he was trying to control it, and that'll go for Isaac. Calpa to just keep the crowd as quiet as they have throughout the game. I mean, they're still cheering and chanting, but they haven't blown up yet. That's a small victory in itself. Now, hesitation. Quickly shot just wide. Around on the far side, Cantola will chip it high and down the ice. 
This one will go back. And they will blow it down on the icing again. Dabble sees the New Year's win a face off and get some sustained offensive zone time. Roby loose to Ryan on this draw against Lindgren. Okay, behind. To the right of Manzato. And that is won by Lindgren, back to the point. Shot through off of Ryan Wilson into the corner. Picked up there by Meyer. Moves it down to Pistoni. Wilson comes in. Back around to the point. Elder drops it off for Lindgren. Pistoni couldn't get there. Luster Ryan steps in. Now Feathers won ahead for Cantola. And he was trying to get a shot off. His young kind of submarine him. Wasn't able to do it. Oh, and now he's hurt. Looked like he was calling for help right away as well. I took my eyes away from the play after they both went down. This might give us a look, Doug. Oh. That did not look good. It wasn't the crashing into the board that hurt him. It was the knee being underneath Young as they kind of got tied up. And you see Sammy Kaplan, and as a coach, you have to look at what your other options are right away. And that's what he's looking at there is the trainers for Cupio out there. Jill Sen goes over there as well to check in. And at this point, you worry most about the player and, and that he'll be okay. They're gonna bring a stretcher on, I think. Well, he wants to get up. The quick summary on this player, Kai Gentola. Some of you may be familiar with him. Born in North York, Ontario. Had a couple of games in the American Hockey League after spending four years at Bowling Green State University, and they brought the stretcher out for him. So he's going to be stretcher is going to follow him off the ice. He didn't want to be taken off the stretcher, but no pressure on that right leg. He's been back in Finland for nine years. This is his second year with Kupio. Carried off to the room. Don't want to see a tournament end like that. But that's not that's not one where we go. Will he be back? That's one where you hope he'll be able to play again this season at some point. And he was a really good fit on that line. Ty Gentola down the hallway. Okay, defense six first. Saying an he left earlier. He walked off under his own pressure, but yep has not returned here for H.C. Davos either. So both teams down a player. Puck will slide down into the corner. Wilson there, moves it to the blue line, not out. Boston turns, flips it in. Manzato calmly off the blocker, clears it into the corner. Corby buys himself a little bit of time. Tried to feather it out front to Simeon. It'll come around to Julian Pear. Pear back, Boston, blue line. Down into the corner. With a high flip there, Corby takes a bump from behind. Boston now comes in and get it. He's capable of working some magic here and tying this game. Puck taken away, and he's skated away by Shebox. Drops it off. Right side, shot coming in Jill Sandy. Had a little bit of a quiet period. Hangs on to that one, no problem. Davos has had spectacular goaltending from both of their netminders. Their real downfall so far is that they're 0 for 14 on the power play. Now the puck just inside the blue line. Fodder will skate onto it. Fodder cuts to the middle. Tries to fire it ahead. Wieser couldn't come up with it. Now it comes around to Mark Wieser in the other corner. 
Reverses it in behind the goal for his brother, Dino. Now Botter will slide in here. Watch closely, tried to spin away. Couldn't take the puck with him, but Beezer will come in and pick it up. Back to the point, Pargai. Tied up, couldn't get it out. Botter shot high, and that one over top of the goal. Settled down here by Fairchild and lofted down the ice. And that will go the distance for icing. Five, just over five and a half minutes gone here in the third period. Cupio hanging on to this one nothing lead. Ruskarainen still leading them in ice time. Julian Bayer, the 18-year-old, has played 14 and a half minutes, second most on Davos. Part of that good young group moving forward, Doug. Now here's Egley down low. Takes it in behind the goal, back to the point, kept in, wrist shot coming through traffic, rebound, Lane there, they score! It is off the stick of Yannick Frenier and behind Manzato, and ladies and gentlemen, we're tied at one. Brenner's stick was just there, bounces in off him. It was funny because Eshelman was shooting it from the point. It was Sven Young who had the first crack at the rebound, the defenseman who was down in front of the net. Tied at one. Just over 14 minutes to play. Now who knows what happens. For Stoney. Gives it away, it'll be knocked ahead. Here comes Newton in. Newton in with a shot. That's a big save from Sen to hang on there. Davos, Yannick Frenier has tied it up at the Spengler Cup. Hey guys, let's go. Welcome back, Val Yacht Arena. Dustin Nielsen, Doug Honiger with you, and we are tied at one, nearing the midway point of the third period. Doug, how big will that goal be for Davos to try to push for the next one? Skate behind, left skate. Good. Stick, defense, offense, good one. <laughs> well, that's a buzz kill, that's what that is. Take me through the last three or four minutes for Cupio. They lose control, like he's carried off the ice, then they give up a goal. That could be a lot to overcome. Stick. This puck down the ice, going back to get it. It'll be settled down there by Ari Grondo. Turned over, cross him. You don't want to give it to this guy. He's in over the blue line, tosses it across. He'll skate on to the Corby here. A 
funny because they're a little bit wide coming through the neutral zone, and when that puck comes in over the blue line, they all converge on. Simeon puts on the brakes, turns around. Simeon looks far side. That'll be kicked down into the corner. Corby couldn't get a stick on it. It'll be controlled by Mackinnon, and he'll move it ahead. Clemetti couldn't control. And now it's going to be knocked into the corner. Wilson. Clemetti. Clemetti comes to Newton. So Newton flies up here onto this line. Almost found Luskarainen. Newton in place of the injured Controlla. Gets it to Clemetti. Clemetti tried to drop it back to Luskarainen, but it was knocked away. Luskarainen gets it back. Walks around a defender. Drops it back to Newton. Newton to the point. Leskinen. Luskarainen. Luskarainen tried to go between his legs and eventually has it knocked out to the neutral zone. I still like the fact that he thought about it. It was a little sneaky. Now Rissanen. Back up to the point. That's going to bobble. Drop a line and couldn't get it deep. Here's the goal scorer, Frenier. Head man just puck to Kessler. Kessler working on Kim. He's signing him up in the corner. Frenier take it down, and now Frenier has scored and drawn a penalty here in the third period as Cupio will touch it. Here's the thing, though. Davos' power play is 0 for 13, and when I asked their head coach, how to Lintz about it prior to the game, he kind of just shook his head and laughed. He's like, yeah, we need to get that going. <laughs> He's going to take the face off. Can't win it. That's a big win. Wilson on it. Moves it around. He pressure here. Blue line not out. Kept in there by Clausen. Clausen waits. Drops it back. Young couldn't move it quick enough, and Wilson breaks it up. Now Wilson, short-handed, gets the blue line, turns, and couldn't get it deep, taken away there by Clausen. But Wilson will force him back enough to regroup. Far side, Simeon. Simeon drops it up top to Meyer. Dario to Dario there. Now Clausen along the wall. Watch closely into the middle for Dario Meyer. Meyer decides to turn back up high and give it back to Clausen. We saw Clausen on the last power play. He was over on the right side to kind of move him out front. Here's an opportunity. Manzano down. Puck stays out. Kept in at the blue line. Another shot. Side goal on the side of the goal. Meyer with a glorious deflection. Clausen now walks down. H.C. Davos coming that close to taking the lead. Clausen, crowd starting to get on their feet. They throw it across. And that one underneath the stick of Lindgren. Lindgren again, walking in, down low, Simeon. Boston throws it in the middle, one-timer, and Manzato takes it right in the chest off the stick of Meyer. And now Brondo clearing the crease. Let him go, let him go. Grondo getting into it a little bit there. Face off will come to the blocker side right of Manzato. Back to the point, kept in. Second unit out there now for Davos, including Lucas Stroop. Takes the shot, gives it to Corby. Down low, that's a good read. Picked off there by Wilson and fires it down the ice. Played ahead. That's going to be picked off. Short-handed here, Rutu couldn't wheel, and that'll be touched. They'll take the face-off at the blue line here with just 10 seconds left in the power play.
They're going to bring this puck all the way down the ice on an intentional offside. And the faceoff one, Wilson's going to slide in and grab it. Backhanded in behind the goal. Now they'll reverse it on a hammer job around the boards, but knocked down into the corner. Back to even strength. Lepelainen back on the ice. He'll hustle straight to the bench. A little bit of a delay getting a forward out there for the defenseman who was heading off. Wilson in a battle, knocks that puck loose. Here's Rutu, trying to play it ahead. That's picked up, down the right side. They'll throw it across and they score! Kupio back on top. Rissanen finishing off a pretty feed from Texier. And Kalpa quiets the crowd. You know what, I thought Rissling did a good job getting that thing. If he doesn't get that a foot off the ice, it's going to be stopped. On the ice. Slow on the ice. Hey, hey. Hit the hit. Hey, the Yako Rissonen putting it to Kupio face back off. on top. Do we set the clock? His first yes. of the tournament we set the clock. does can't, have three points that. in three games. So you have one warning, so I put, hey, hey, I put your stick on the ice because you don't even want to risk getting a penalty here. There you go. <laughs> we're just gonna wait, we're waiting for the time, time set. Put your stick on the ice, wait, Good. we're gonna okay, wait. Put it on the ice, okay, ready, on the ice. <laughs> Puck dropped on the ice as well. That was Canadian official Brad Watson who was sorting it out. That will be played down in, Manzato. Takes that one in the chest. Texier, you know what I like best about Texier on that goal is, got in behind the defender, lifted the stick, Brought the puck with him, immediately created a two on one. Could have fired from where he was. Now it'll be brought ahead. Leskinen, center ice, plays it down into the far corner. Comes back around to Newton. In. Does Davos. Have another one in them, or will Cupio be facing Canada in tomorrow's final? A TSN 3 and 5. Now knocked over on the boards. Newton and battling away in their hearts, gonna come back to the point. Wilson sends one through. Deflection wasn't there, but Sen got a pad on the initial shot. Gabo standing around a bit here now. Newton in. Back up to Wilson along the line. Wilson's shot up in the air. And the jump ball comes down, and Young will knock it to the corner. Looks like Young stick kind of caught Corby in the head. Clausen took him up, and then he stumbles. Now a turnover. Chubak takes it in behind the goal, throws it out front. That's going to come back to the point shot off of the shin pad. Good battle in front of the goal. Here's to Reinen. Drops it back. Seppala. Chibak. Moves it down. Out to the neutral zone. They'll get the blue line. Three wide. Now four wide as they come in. Stoop decides to turn back. Good decision because he's going to have to go get this puck as Kubio makes the game. Now broken up. Wait in the slot and played back out. Julian Pear, right side. That's going to be picked up and poked ahead. Brought in by Beezer. Beezer shot Manzato. Rebound there. They jam away. Manzato still down. Loose puck waiting to be picked up. And Kupio will send it down the ice. And Texier is going to get to it. What's he got up his sleeve here? Takes it in behind the goal. Reverses it. Took a good bump. But got it down low to Rutu. Rutu, far side. Chance here. At Valian Arena. Car guy. Turned around there. Pair will come back to grab it. Moves it ahead to Beezer. 
center ice will hammer it in. Julian Perry's 18. You see him play here. Does he have an NHL future or maybe like on the radar at least? Now it'll slide over into the corner. Eshelman will come in to help out there with Sven Young. Just over six minutes remaining in this hockey game. Wilson moves down, knocks it in the corner. He is as steady as they possibly can come. And right now, Ryan Wilson's Kubio Kalpa leading doubles 2-1. <laughs> Just over six minutes remaining. Okay, Semi-final okay. number two, Valhalla no, Arena in Davos. It is the host of the Spengler Cup. Yep. HC Davos. Trailing 2-1 against Kupio Kalpa. Dustin Nielsen and Doug Honiger with you. Does Davos have another one in him, Dougie? Texier tries to. Since Davos tied it, Cupio has kind of got going again. Here's Stoop, corner. Has a man parked in front. Watch closely there by Rissonen, who gave Cupio the lead. And knock it down into the corner. Beezer trying to come off the wall, but Rufu's got him all tied up. Quick hands. Jarmokeka Linen was involved with this program. Jarmokeka Linen laughed at him, and Texier is at this program now. That can't be a coincidence. I wouldn't think. Now it's brought in. There's an opportunity off the head of Sen as Newton had a puck bounce right on his stick. Now Bruce Lee moves it up the boards. Pistoni had that fall over top of him. The band doing the best they can to try to get Davos going here. Stan will have to cover it up. And he scoops it up a little bigger. He wants to get his team going at the other end. Here's a look at that one there off of his head and into the corner. Sick. Top notch. Offense. So he'll be in good hands. Just, it's unfortunate that he has to be. Ty Cantola leaving with a serious leg injury earlier in this period. His team has bounced back nicely after they gave up a goal to tie this thing at one. Now here's Wieser. Chips it in. Grondahl. Far side for Luster Reinen. And he'll knock it out to the neutral zone. Slap shot coming, deflected out of play. Smart.
Looking at Lewis Sarine, and he's six foot three as well, right? So he's got that size that you want in the National Hockey League as well. Just a 20-year-old center thick. here with Gupio. Manzato calmly knocks this into the corner. That's going to be picked up by Kessler. Kessler's shot that hit Manzato's pad. Manzato doesn't move a lot in the net. He kind of just lets everything come to him. Picked off by Texier. Finland is on the verge of heading to a Spangler Cup final on the strength of a 20-year-old and a 19-year-old. Short, you're saying you like the work of Sammy Kaplan. Newton in. Leaves it there. Vinola takes it in behind the net. Jokinen leaves it for Vinola. He'll cycle it back down. Kupio is going to win this game in the trenches along the boards. Pair. Will knock it in the corner. Frenier, who did give Davos some life, gets it to the blue line and out. Wilson flips it down again. Into the corner. Newton in on the attack. This will be picked up and brought ahead by Corby. He wants to wheel. He needs to wheel. Gets the blue line shot there off the side of the goal. I thought it was in for a moment. Back to the point. Another shot through and Manzato with traffic in front gets the glove on it. Start down here. Great guy, he's a great guy, he's an emotional guy. Seppala in the corner. Pistoni trying to knock him off this puck. Lindgren comes in to help out. Lindgren battling here with Missinen. The go ahead goal scorer at this point. Finds Texier. Texier is going to turn, goes high down the ice. Davos, just over two minutes remaining possibly in the tournament if they can't find the back of the net come around near side poked away pistoni has got to wind up again by himself with his backhanded in he will keep an eye on jill sen now less than two minutes to play Texier high again and out of the zone and he'll get it a third time and send it down the ice They know exactly what they're supposed to do, and they do it. Goaltender to the bench. Extra attacker is Linus Clausen. He is over the boards. He could definitely tie it. Here's Beezer. 90 seconds to work. Pinned in the corner. Six on five. Davos. They need one, or they're done. Tipped out. Down to the neutral zone. Clausen will go back for it. His line mates are going to change. He's by himself here. Right up the middle of the ice. Tips it down into the corner. Beezer will give chase. Wilson there. Gets it to Lusterinen. Rutu on a backhand. Rolls it towards the goal. Taken in behind the net by Corby. Less than a minute now for Davos. He'll drop it back to Clausen. Back to Corby. Cuts inside. Now wide. Corby waits. Plays it into the netting. And out of play. That's a mental error right there. There will be a timeout. But they're gonna have to bring 
Den back in and start over again with less than 50 seconds. If there's no play, get it on that. Tokyo, and their fans here in attendance, hoping they can hold on to set up a match with Canada in the final tomorrow. And I would be excited to see Kupio's speed and youth by far would be the quickest team Canada has had to face yet. Yeah. And they are young, so they should have some legs even on a quick turnaround. Okay, track first. Wait, guys. Stay, stay back. I need some room. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, sorry about that, Doug. I'm glad it took you until, uh, what are we on, game number 10 to, uh, <laughs> uh, just outside the blue line. This lineman's getting frustrated. Lawson will grab it. He's got 45 seconds to work. Across here to Wieser. Wieser down into the corner. Back to Lindgren. Lindgren walks in, throws it towards the goal. That's broken up, still there, Manzato's down. Where is it? In the corner, Rutu a chance to clear, and he doesn't. Simeon, back to Claussen. 20 seconds left in the game, down by one. Claussen sends it on goal, rebound there. That'll be cleared out, and down the ice towards the empty net. Icing, 12.2 on the clock. Quick change here. I'll attempt to change, go over and get a quick breather, come back. The 20 year old, E2 Luke Sarinen. Carolina Hurricanes fans, if you're watching, he's a good one. Face off against Enzo Corby. And he wins it, the kid wins it. Bounces into the corner. Seppala there, who else is in there? Luke Sarinen trying to tie this up as the clock ticks down. And that is going to do it. H.C. Davos going home at home as they fall to Kupio Kelpa and another excellent defensive effort from this Finnish squad that will now advance to take on Canada in tomorrow's Spangler Cup Final. That's who these guys are. It's huge for Kupo Kalp uh, as they advance to take on Team Canada, Spangler Cup final tomorrow, Canada and Finland.
Thank you. 